Hi there guys, Sam here. Um, I just wanted to give a quick uh, a quick update really, a bit of reflection on the video I did um, last time on my Golf R. Um, just a few of the points that I made and my kind of overall thoughts on the car really. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll get straight into it. So um, one of the things that I actually noticed <laughs> more recently is how the traction control actually really does prevent the power quite a few times. Um, basically, if you go full throttle and you're sort of turning and it thinks you're gonna slip, it will reduce the power, reduce a bit of the fun. Um, I found obviously by turning off the traction control, yeah, you get um, you get all the power you want. It's it's fantastic. The only thing when you do that though, is you get a, a load of warning lights on the dash and it just kind of puts it off. I'll, I'll try and show it now. So if I spin it round, try and point it to where you lot can see. So if I basically turn the traction control off on this car, you just press hold it down this and it says that and then it says deactivated and then it comes up with loads of errors saying you know your front assist isn't going to be working now um, ESC's off there's a little warning light you know there's at least three warning lights and that sort of when you're driving around <laughs> does put you off a little bit actually because it's kind of like it's almost saying oh you know what don't do this kind of thing and then you can turn it straight off and then obviously everything comes activated and even if you do um, sort of the, the halfway kind of thing you still get you still get that you just get restricted so it's a, and you still get front assist unavailable um and just a few things to let you know i know it kind of has to tell you and it has to kind of put its mind it has to has to kind of push, push that to you um but yeah for me you just kind of put it off a little bit but certainly when it is off it's um it's a load of fun and i'm starting to yeah re reflect a little bit more on that and you know how fun this kind of car can be um, while I'm kind of in the car, this is my last journey anyway. So, um, 36 mile journey to be 46 minutes. I've got 36.3 miles per gallon, which is pretty good. You know, since filling this car up with super unleaded, um, 84 miles, 35.3 miles per gallon. That, you know, that, that's pretty good. Um, I've done 84 miles, 360 miles. It's saying left. So give or take nearly sort of 400 and nearly 450 miles which is which is really really good um as you can see from the car as well sort of on about four four thousand miles now but um that's just one thing i wanted to mention there's a few other bits i'll um i'll step out and uh, and show you a couple of things i wanted to mention so um obviously the car's nice and clean i've just given it a wash um yesterday one thing you'll find with the wheels particularly these cadiz wheels is um once you clean them you get loads of sort of streak marks it, it's kind of like a it's a wheel that you basically once you clean it and wash it and do what you can you almost have to um like buff the whole wheel out um to actually get it to a, a great a great condition kind of thing um i think it's just the way the material is um it kind of yeah it kind of just glides off um, and leaves a few streaks, but it certainly does, is looking nice, certainly in the sun. Um, one thing, I, I, I'm sort of coming around to the colour more, when it, particularly when it's clean, it looks quite good. Um, I was actually on my way down here, sort of like an Aston Martin, um, it was about 2008 um, V8 Vantage in grey, it's a really similar grey to this car. And I suppose if, um, you know, if you, if you had a car, um, if this was like a sports car, it'd probably almost be an Aston Martin. Funny enough, his was in a, in a manual as well. About the same in terms of 0 60 as well, around five seconds. Obviously his sounded amazing, but the fact that mine can do the whole, you know, I can use this every day. You can't really use an Aston every day. Um, God knows what it would cost to kind of run that kind of car and, and bits around that. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention is my point of kind of boot space, just a little bit. So I have a bag of footballs. Um, and again, probably me being a bit too harsh. So, as you can see, open the boot. You know, this is kit and everything. Goes in really nicely, <laughs> you know. And with um, space to spare as well. So I'll probably, I might actually take my comment back a little bit on boot space. Um, trying to look at the more the positives of this kind of car as I now have to kind of clean it out of all these little bits um, you do lose a bit though just from the back of I've got another video on that just with the four-wheel drive and bits but yeah just a just a quick video really I just wanted to go over a few little points um, still enjoying the car um, certainly when the exhausts are 
nice and polished. They look fantastic and the car, it's clean, looks really, really good as well. Um, the grey starts to make sense. Um, yeah, and I'll, um, I'll keep you up to date, but you know, please check out my other videos and um, please subscribe. Um, any comments, let me know and I'll, I'll keep you up to date on um, my golf R. But for now, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you again next time. Cheers, guys.